This is gonna be a little bit different, but I wanted to tell you a story that taught me a lesson that I can apply to my performance, to my studies, and to my life. So a few months ago, I was making a spinach and fruit smoothie. I was in a hurry. I have a lot of chaos in my home. So I was quickly making a smoothie around dinner time and something was weird with my blender. And it was making kind of some funny clicking sounds, but my blender is kind of old. So I just thought, okay, here we go. So I poured some smoothies into about three different cups. Mine was the biggest one. I was drinking it and I was really, really hungry. <laughs> so I drank it kind of fast, about half of the smoothie. And I was noticing some like, texture, some chunks in the smoothie. So I started chewing on the chunks and it was kind of like chewing gum uh, texture. And I thought, what's going on? So I took another sip, kind of spit out what was chewy and it was really bright pink. And I was like, what is this? So at that point I knew there was something in the smoothie that I didn't, in, I did not intend to put in there. So I got a strainer and I poured my smoothie into the strainer and lo and behold, I saw lots of little bitty pink pieces of what looked like confetti. Some pieces were bigger than others. And so I poured out the entire contents of the blender into the sink and I looked more closely at the blade. And inside the blade was something pink and rubbery. I took it off and realized it was a balloon. A balloon was in my blender. I looked around and it looked like one of my children had placed a balloon into the blender. Don't ask me why. I ended up drinking a balloon. <laughs> but I was thinking about it and in that moment I could have just been really disgusted at my misfortune of drinking a balloon. Just how bizarre it was. It can communicate a lesson of improvisation. Very few days are ideal. Very few practice sessions or performances or lessons or interactions with those you admire or your friends or family are going to be ideal. What's really important in those unideal times is to roll with it. Strain out the balloon, pull out the pieces and laugh about it. Make another meal and save that for a good conversation starter. Next time you're trying to take yourself too seriously, just remember that you heard a story one time about someone who accidentally drank a balloon. Hope that made you laugh as much as it did for me. Bye.